Good afternoon everyone, today I'm going to be giving an update on my March monthly forecast for silver. After edging upwards in February, commodities have been under pressure this month and I mentioned that an impulsive move was coming. This move has happened in favour of the bears, but we could now be at a discount level to buy from, but at the same time we have broken some structures to the downside so I'm going to be giving an analysis from both sides. As always, I'm going to give my opinion on where we could see this commodity heading for the rest of this month and tying this in with the fundamentals. So on the fundamental side, I've listed here three of the most important themes and events coming up which are acting as the real driver for the market. Now, first of all, we have rising yields. Now, this rising yield has been putting real pressure on precious metals, as we know. However, there is something really important I want to touch on. Yields even like over the last week have still been rising but the pace of the rise is slowing down it's becoming more controllable as we reopen the economy i can't see how yields won't reach two percent and everyone would think we're going to continue this slump we've seen however silver recently ignored the most recent rise in yields and i think that is because the initial shock of that big spike we had a few weeks ago um, that's gone now and yields are going to continue to rise at a controllable rate and I do not see, see that as a problem, I see it as a good thing um, I see it that the economy is reopening and things are getting back to normal um, This the initial spike is what brought the fear into the market and this is where we saw these big moves but if, as I said if we can control the rate um, and it's, it's rising at a nice steady pace then I don't see this as a problem I wanted to touch on industrial demand as well uh, data by market showed that global manufacturing activity improved in February. Now this will only rise as we look towards reopening and it's a positive thing for silver as we know silver has many industrial uses. On top of this there is now talk of a four trillion dollar deficit funded infrastructure project which again is going to increase industrial demand and finally we have the what I'd like to call the main event of the week Tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK time, FOMC Chair Jerome Powell is going to give his forecast on the progress of the economic recovery. His last one was back in December and there's been a lot of talk about it being really outdated and quite low. So I think he's going to bump that up a bit. The inflation data is what investors will react to sharply. Uh, so listen now to see if the inflation is held below the 2% as expected. I cannot express enough how important Jerome Powell's reaction to recent events in inflation fears and rising yields, um, investors are going to look for some sort of pushback. So really listen out to what he says. Okay, so I'm on the chart now, and I mentioned the importance of Jerome Powell's uh, statement tomorrow on the economic projections. So I do think we're in a market at the moment where we're waiting to see uh, what he has to say tomorrow. So I'm going to give both sides of the story, and I'm going to start on the the bullish side of the story. I'm on the daily chart right now and we've got some nice confluences here so this is the 50 day moving average we had this cross on the 25th of february since then we've gone to test it and we are starting to close above the line is starting to average out a bit and we could see a move to the upside and the reason i talk about confluence is actually coincides perfectly with this daily order block which i'll just mark on there for you this was the big bullish pressure from the reddit forums that you remember and the order block that was left behind um, is this piece of uh, bearish pressure here so this is our daily order block this level and it's around the 24.45 mark and it actually coincides nicely with the 50 day moving average and we've had this nice reaction out of it so I'm actually in this camp of, of a bullish move and we could see a move up to around the 28 level uh, actually the 27 level would mark it as potential daily take profit levels for the next few weeks if we were to have a bullish impulse now i mentioned um, in my previous video about the 28 level providing constant resistance and it was a really big level to get through and we actually never really broke through 28 here. I think last time I've done the video, we're sitting at around this level here that I'm, that I'm highlighting. And we have actually had this huge drop, but I wouldn't be too worried about the drop. It has just dropped into 
um, the next support level and, and reacted quite nicely. And if we can get a close above the 50 day moving average over the next couple of days, and I am looking for buys. On the flip side, on the daily chart, I'll remove the indicators and remove the drawings. You can see that these, this low was a break of structure and this low has also been broken. Both these lows were broken, um, indicating the bearish pressure. We could argue this is just a retracement before we drop lower, um, depending on your bias for silver. And we're testing this structure. We've already tested it once and, and fallen back. We could be up to test it again. And we could see a situation where um, we test this level and we move back down to the downside. Um, then I'll be looking for buyers around the 24.2 level. So I think it is really important where we close in the next couple of days as well. If I remove all these drawings and just take a look at the price action on the four hour chart. Now, again, this is the level from the bullish pressure from the Reddit forums back in January. Um, we've come to test this level and had a nice reaction from it. And what's more important about this reaction uh, more than anything is we've actually broken structure to the upside now through this move here, a break, and we've come back to retrace. Now what I'm looking for is if I, we can get another break of structure up at 26.45, so that would mean price moving above this level and then a move back down and the level that would be left behind is here around 25.65 and I'll be looking for buying opportunities from this level and again as I'll take profit um, we're looking at probably around this level here around 27 um, again, I still think 28 will provide as a resistance level. So we can mark this as our, I'll put it as daily take profit, but just I'll take profit in general. A buyer from this position would actually indicate a nice 6.5 hour trade. Now, if price was to reach our level here at around 25 and a half and fall below, it has a lot of breaking to do to get through, shall we say, here is support, more support levels. Again, this is acting as support. Now, if we break below all these, all four of these support levels, then I'll switch my bias to completely bearish, um, especially for the monthly forecasts. But we have a lot of breaking to do to get to that level. For now, I'm looking for discount levels really and I'm really looking to what Jerome Powell says tomorrow. So that is it for silver guys. Um, please like and subscribe to these videos, turn on your notifications so you don't miss them. Um, share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it and I will be catching you for the next video on Thursday.